to be a man for the ball. Once again, Fallon Sherrick in action in the quarterfinals at one of these women's series events. She's top of the pile Outside. at the moment, leading the race for a Grand Slam sport, one of which Outside. will be earned at the end of today's action. She's won two of the four events. The other two have been won by Lisa Ashton. They could clash in the final Outside. of event five, and Ashton is the only player that has beaten Fallon Sherrick this weekend. So a tough Outside. task for Amanda Harwood. She is going to book her place in the last four. Will Fallon be on fire again? Or can Amanda the Panda find a way past? Outside. Colin Lloyd alongside me. Yep, we'll just have to see Outside. what happens here with Amanda. She knows she's got a tough game. Fallon's looking very calm and relaxed. And why wouldn't she be? She's going to throw some great stuff this weekend. 25. But upsets do happen, Chris. Yeah, the pair of them sharing a joke here because they keep copying each other when going for the ball. Outside. So Fallon Sherrick needs a 25 for the ball to get the advantage of throwing oh, first, gets Fallon's the ball, up. and she does have that advantage. I'm sure you've been involved in some lengthy bull shooting competitions in the past, Lloydy. I most certainly have, mate. And a lot of them were with uh, a certain 55. Mr. Phil Taylor. And you'd be going round, around, 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 around. And then Phil would win the ball. And he'd say, you can throw it first, Doc. Okay. And you should just look at him and think, 22. why would you put me through all of that just to give me the throw? The dark arts from the master of this particular craft. You learn eventually. You do learn eventually. Well, this is the quarterfinal on stream. Sherrick and Harwood and Fallon a well, firm favourite to win it. But there will be lots of interest in one of the off-stream quarterfinals as Dieter Hedman and Leisha Ashton go head to head in that one. Now, we'll keep you up to date with it. It's a really important match because it could see Hedman really start to become more cut adrift from Sherrick and Ashton, or it could see her put herself back into contention. And 100. Particularly in that race for the World Championship, but almost hand that Grand Slam spot towards Fallon Sherrick if she can knock out Lisa Ashton. 99. That one's just got underway. The other quarterfinals are Ros Bulmer, who we've just seen defeat Chrissy Manley in the last leg decider against Anastasia Dobromislova who's looking to celebrate her birthday with a victory today and Scotland's Lorraine Hyde against England's Kirsty Hutchinson one of them will reach the semis for the first time 93. this weekend yeah we've seen a little bit of Lorraine Hyde and Kirsty Hutchinson over these past couple of days to be fair, they've both been throwing some pretty decent stuff, but they've been seven scored. Been sadly put out a lot of the times by one of the big guns. I don't like keep saying that really. Fifty four. Even big guns get beat. So I'm not going to say it anymore. <laughs> well, I was just trying to think of a, a famous time where you were the number one seed and were beaten, Lloydy. I'm sure. One, One springs to mind in how, particular. How many of the handful do you need? Game shot. Fallon Sherrick certainly the big favourite to win this match and she's living up to that mantle in the first leg. Very comfortable. Hold a throw. One hundred. Do you sometimes think, Murph, the, these could be the sort of games, and I'm certainly not being disrespectful here to Amanda Harwood, where 45. sometimes a little bit of complacency could kick in because you think to yourself, this is a game I should win. And you sort of like you just relax a little bit too 99. much. I'm certainly not saying Fallon's going to do that because 
she never seems to do that. Yeah, I, th I think I agree with both points. I think for some players that could be the case, but for Fallon, it doesn't seem to be. As I was saying before, the only player that's beat her this weekend is Lisa Ashton. Anybody else that's been put in front of her, she's dealt with, and she did miss the opportunity. She had a dart at double to win that match in the final of event one today. Well, she's certainly putting up a good fight of it here, is Amanda Harwood? Ton, 45 ton. 140. Plus a 140. If she is going to go down, she's going to go down fighting. Well, this is her best run of the 60. weekend. A bit of a miscount there from Fallon Show. It should have switched to the 18s. Give herself a chance of a finish. 40. Howard in reaching this quarterfinals enjoyed wins against Potter, Potts, and Savary. 96. She's going potty if she wins the tournament. Never Eight mind Potts, that's tops. And it's 76 out for. Amanda Harwood to level this match against Fallon Sherrick. And if there was any thought of an easy ride, then Harwood has just well reminded Sherrick that it won't be the case. She's back in that treble 20 again. 85. If memory serves me correct. I think Amanda Harwood, I think she has worn the England jersey, 60. hasn't she? I think she's an England representative. I think she's represented England. Well, I won't doubt a word you say, Lloydie. But as is the joy well of then. modern technology, we'll just type the name into my information device and confirm whether you're correct or not. And you're absolutely spot on. 99. So she has pedigree. She's played the big matches. And anybody, anybody who's worn a coveted shirt 76. as to where you've represented your country, you must be doing something right or you're good at what you do. She actually won the British Internationals back in 2013. 43. With Team England. Interestingly, 84. five of the six players who competed in that England team are in this event. Amanda herself, Trina Gulliver, Lorraine Wynne Stanley, Deet Hedman, and Lisa Ashton. Good company to be in with as, as a team. 100. Sherrick looking to get back ahead. Still a, a race to four at this stage. Almost left herself double one. But double tops it was. Game shot. And she finds it to edge back in front. 2-1 to Fallon Sherrick. I said I would keep you up to date with the score between Dieter Hedman and Lisa Ashton. And Ashton is 2-0 up and averaging more than 107. 41. Wow. Well, let me just point out this particular permutation to you, Lloydie. If Lisa Ashton beats Fallon Sherrick in the final of this event, she will be top of the order of merit, the head of Fallon Sherrick, by 50 quid 100. going into the last event. Wow. Almost will be at the point... If they meet in that event at whatever stage, the winner will get the Grand Slam spot. Round one. Yeah, and then we, they can just pack up and go, oh, we don't need to do the rest. Of course, it's an intriguing way it's been done this year. Half a dozen events for a Grand Slam spot, and then the second six events for the second Grand Slam spot. And all 12 in total count towards the two spots available at the World Championship. Alan Sherrick just turning the screw with a maximum in this one. 40.
56. Amanda's being put to the sword here a little bit. But you know, she's, she's throwing some good stuff. She's hanging in there. But when it comes 24. to Fallon, Sherrick, Lisa Ashton, you can't just hang in there, Murph. You have to keep pressing and pushing. 48. We probably are going to see Lisa Ashton here next. The semi-final will feature the winner of the match between her and Dieter Hedman and Anastasia Dobromyslova and Ros Bulmer. Lisa Ashton has won the third leg in that match and has actually increased her average 100. to more than 112 now. Could be about to see the highest average we've ever yes. seen at the Women's Series. It's not just about averages, it's all about getting wins and Fallon Sherrick is also one leg away from booking her place in the semi-final and the pair remain on a collision course for a meeting in the final of event five. 60. Forty-one. Fallon looking very cool, calm and collected here. Fifty-six. Knows that the job is almost done in this match. But we'll still keep 41. pressing. Just a very quick word on... Gibraltar as well. James Wade has beaten Gabriel Clements. He will take on either Joe Cullen or Nathan Aspinall tonight. Michael Van Gerwen and Gerwin Price are going to go head to head tonight. Dieter Hedman has just clawed a leg back against Lisa Ashton. 129. 104. Could yet be the first player through to the semi-finals. She can wrap it up in this leg. 30. And there would have been some way to do it. 113. But she leaves it very, very nicely placed for when she comes back. I think this could be Amanda's last three darts. 45. In this event, but there's still another one later. Double 16 for the win. 16. She couldn't find it in the end. Don't see that often, the dart trapped in the board by the number after a wicked deflection. all the places for that dart to go. 35. Eight scored. Well, Sherrick still hasn't sealed it. <coughs> A wry little smile there from Amanda Harwood, as if to say, 91. Put me out of my misery. A 91. Is it a parting shot from the Panda? Double two. No score. Oh, wrong bed. Oh, this is a troubling end to so what should have been a comfortable leg and one that would have secured a comfortable win. Well, Harwood, though, needed that single 20 for a dart at the ball 49 and surely now Sherrick will seal the deal Game and finally Fallon, Fallon falls yeah. over the line but defeats Amanda Harwood by four legs to one and books a place in the semi-finals yet again. She remains on a collision course with Lisa Ashton, who is also through to the semi-finals. They could meet in the final 
But Ashton will be in action next here on the live stream.